How are we doing hunters? If you guys have ever gotten up into your tree stand and either realized you left your release at home or you pulled your release out of your pack or your pocket and dropped the dang thing all the way to the ground, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and follow along. Today we're going to dig in and take a look at which is better for you, the wrist release or thumb release. Here recently I made a big change and strictly use a thumb release now. The one that I use is the Stan Shoot Off, the large model. Uh, I believe they also make this in a three finger model. Um, I went with the large model and got the four finger. Just provides a little bit extra uh, grip protection and a little more stable for me for my um, shooting setup. Although this is my main and primary release that I use, I always make sure to take an extra release with me just in case, like I mentioned, I either leave one at home or get all the way up the top, uh, pull your main release out of your pocket or out of your pack, and you end up dropping the dang thing all the way to the bottom. You don't want to unhook, uh, climb down, get that, and get situated back in. So I always make sure and take it back up with me. Uh, the one that I like and the one that I used for a long time before switching to the thumb release is a wrist release and or some people call it an index release or a trigger release. This one here is made by Truefire and I believe this one here is called the Hardcore Buckle. And this here is a wrist release and you just take your hand, slide it through the leather wrist support, the strap, uh, get it situated on there where it's comfortable for you. And here you've got it set up just like that. And this is why they call it wrist release because of the wrist support, the wrist strap, or some people call it just a simple index or a trigger release because it's similar to basically just pulling a trigger on a rifle or a pistol. Um, one thing I do like about this one, um, the hardcore buckle by True Fire is typically it's out just like this when you're ready to shoot, but when you're not ready, just take this and it kind of snaps back and is hidden out of the way. I think you guys can see that there. So although it does do this, uh, one thing that I really like about now utilizing the thumb release is the fact that I can just throw this in my pocket. I keep it in my pocket because typically during rut around here, it's a little bit cooler. So my, my uh, hands are typically always in my pocket until I'm ready or I see, you know, something I'm ready to start recording. Uh, then I'll pull my hands out of my pocket. But I always wear very thin gloves. I wear something just for concealment to cover up and camouflage my, my hands. But um, even if it's extremely cold outside, I still always try to wear thin gloves and just utilize my pockets and some hand warmers. Um, but I do like just keeping this in there by my hand warmer, keeping it in my pocket. That way this, because I do a lot of self filming from the stand and while this does kind of snap back and fold out of the way, this is still all metal right here. So if I'm reaching up to grab the camera or swinging my camera arm or whatever it might be, I don't want this, you know, dangling around, flopping in the way and banging off of stuff. So. Um, I did transition a year or two ago to this stand shoot off uh, thumb release and I don't see any reason to switch back at all. Um, became very confident in this and at the end of the day it's all personal preference but I was very hesitant at first to switch to this just because I didn't know if I would you know shoot any better than I do with my wrist release and I didn't know if I would be okay with the fact that it wasn't always basically strapped to my body and ready. Um, I, I do have the option with this to close the, what I call just the, the hasp here. I can lock that into place and put it on my D loop on my bow and it'll basically just be hanging there on my bow ready if I choose to do it that way. But um, what I've had best luck with is just stick it in the pocket. That way it's right next to my hands already when I see movement or I think I'm, you know, ready to grab the, the bow and make something happen, I'll just, you know, pull this out of the pocket w with my hand and be ready to go. It's uh, real quick to snap on to the D loop and be ready to 
rock and roll. Another thing that I really like about this stand shoot off release is just the wide range of adjustments that it has. Um, I think you can see it, but I can take this barrel here, which is basically the, the thumb release, and it has all kinds of different spots where you can um, adjust this barrel to, to kind of fit your hand size and your thumb size. Uh, you can angle it, you can keep it straight, and then the actual trigger, just like a rifle, is um, fully adjustable as well. Um, um, you know, you can make it basically like a hair trigger, or you know, you can add quite a bit of pressure to it to where you really have to pull back on it to get this thing to break over. Some of the cons I could see with this, um, if you're a hunter that utilizes very thick, very heavy gloves late in the year, or uh, you're just prone to getting cold hands, um, wearing thick gloves is gonna change your point of anchor using this by a, a pretty great deal. So um, another thing that I do, even though I use the thin gloves is I typically do a lot of my practice, almost all of my practice with uh, my gloves on. That way, what I practice in my yard, you know, flows directly over to um, what's gonna happen in real life scenarios. Um, another con would be just the fact that this is not always strapped to you like the wrist release is. Everybody's typically used to pulling a trigger with their index finger. This is gonna be a little bit different because it is a thumb release, or um, it's kind of hard to explain, but you would rest your thumb on the barrel, the thumb release itself, but you actually, once you're back at full draw, you actually kind of start bringing pre pressure back on your pinky, and then that rotates into your thumb, and, and it causes you know the trigger to go off, the thumb release to go off. Uh, some of the cons with the wrist release are the fact that it's always on your shooting hand and uh, if you're like me and you're doing some self-filming it's just constantly in the way. Even though this one does snap back and folds out of the way, it's still always right there and kind of in your way. Um, another con, and I'm sure some of you have read into this, is what they call target panic. Uh, for some reason, switching over to the thumb release, there's just no target panic with this thing. Whereas this, you know, you can be hovering all over that uh, bullseye, that target, and for some reason you're just not confident to pull your trigger with your wrist release. You won't find that with a thumb release. You're just gonna have to try it out yourself because it's kind of hard to explain. And I was hesitant to make the switch as well. I just wasn't sure if it was something I would like, but um, after going through a couple of these and finally finding the stand shoot off, I have no reason to switch back and don't think I ever will. Uh, if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask questions below. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. And um, good luck to all you guys out there in the deer woods this year. And happy hunting. Can't beat it. See you guys.